change. Well, yeah, of course. But let's enjoy the cool weather yeah. while it's here, right? I yeah. mean, go outside right now and take a little got walk. The deets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's a look at what you can expect. So we're going to focus a little bit on the marine forecast right now. And that's because look at this at our buoy. We've got winds out of the northeast at 29 miles per hour, gust at 34 miles per hour, and our wave heights are up to 10 feet. Now that's about 70 nautical miles offshore. The period is about eight seconds. It's not quite that high on our coastline, but it is running high. We're talking four to six foot waves right along our beaches. Rough conditions are expected. Expected. Pressure is low, water temperature 84 degrees right now, so that has at least dropped a little bit, but we're above 80, which means tropical systems can develop, and that's what we are watching. So 10-foot waves, this is our buoy right here, 9-foot closer to Freeport, and uh, wind at Port Aransas is out of the northeast at 18 miles per hour. So here's our tropical system. This is potential tropical cyclone 6. It will likely be named Francine later on today. The wind is out of the northeast, so we have a little bit of this uh, fetch of wind coming in and around this, this storm, and that's why our winds could be gusty uh, today around northeast, uh, 20 to 30 miles per hour sustained. We have high pressure that's building over Florida and in between that high and the low that's developing in the Gulf that may increase our wind just a little bit across the coastal bend. 26 mile per hour winds heading into Tuesday. Tuesday is going to be one of the bigger impact days for us, but as you can see, the higher wave action is going to be closer to the center of the storm and additionally a little bit more to the right of this where the center lines up, but we are talking the potential of a category one hurricane not too far off our coastline. So that's going to dramatically uh, have a, an impact. Dramatic maybe a little bit too big of a word, but it will have an impact along our coast. We're still talking through Wednesday, four to six foot waves, possibly some higher wave action, and our periods will still be around eight to, to nine seconds or so. That wind uh, then calms down. We see the, the ocean calming down a bit once that storm makes it inland. So for your tropical weather forecast, we're talking Tuesday to Wednesday, uh, some of the biggest impacts. There is still a chance for tropical downpours. However, a lot of that activity will be in the Gulf of Mexico, but dangerous surf is something we really are going to have to watch out for. So uh, avoid the beaches really, but especially make sure you have a partner and you know what you're getting yourself into. If you are headed that direction, you may want to keep the rain gear handy or so, but look, here's the rain forecast. This is a radar estimated rainfall totals associated with the storm. A lot of it is going to be, so this is a stationary boundary. Then this is our potential tropical cyclone path and where you see the higher end rain. Unfortunately, that's setting up over the Gulf of Mexico. For us, there's a good chance a lot of us, especially inland, don't see much at all. The county with the best shot at some rainfall is going to be Kennedy County, coastal Clayburg, and even coastal Nueces and coastal Aransas County. Uh, but for the most part, we're not tracking a ton of rain, but we're talking one to two inches for those coastal locations. So on this Monday, overall, it's still a very nice day out there, but we are going to be tracking an isolated storm, especially to the south. That heat index value, look at that. It's not that much higher than the air temperature. We're going to be about the same, which will be really nice. Take a look at the storm. So any rain we really see today is more so associated with that stationary boundary that's set up than the actual tropical system. But this is going to be, notice Kennedy County tomorrow morning. That's when the heavy rain really starts to move in. To Wednesday, we start to see a lot more of the storm looking a bit more organized. It's going to tighten up a bit, and we may not see much if any rain at all on Wednesday as the storm tracks uh, likely toward Louisiana for a, a landfall. So that's what we're keeping a close eye on. I do want to point out though that wind field, right? So right now with the current forecast, that wind field, the tropical storm force winds are really going to be centered. Uh, both of these are tropical storm force winds really centered in the Gulf of Mexico. However, remember if it moves on the outer edge of this storm, or out of outer edge of this forecast cone, it could wind up that that's that wind field could wind up along the coast. So that's just something to keep in mind. Overall, though, all we need to be is attentive. Be alert. Know that there is a chance that there could be a little shift in the in the in the forecast, but the latest model trends have continued to shift it actually a little bit more east. So that would 
lower the impact here in the coastal bend. But we're going to keep watching this. Uh, it's too close to not, right? And so overall, the biggest days to be really on alert are going to be Tuesday and Wednesday. The blitz is not today. I thought I moved to that. But overall, uh, today, temperatures are going to stay in the 80s thanks to cloud coverage and that stationary boundary that's to our south. Barbie John Thomas.